Wilderness cannot be restored or recreated, only destroyed. We're just about to lose our last glimpses into prehistory that connect us to eternity and remember a time before modern man. Every year, we poll ourselves across the Okavango Delta in northern Botswana. These 18-day, 350-kilometer research expeditions take us across a wilderness beyond comparison, the jewel of the Kalahari. This 18,000-square-kilometer alluvial fan is the largest of its kind on Earth, Africa's last remaining wetland wilderness. Fed by floodwaters from the mighty Kavangu Basin in Angola, Namibia, and Botswana, this is our largest undeveloped river catchment remaining today, our last opportunity to preserve a pristine landscape like this one. Home to the largest remaining population of elephant on Earth, over 100,000 elephant roam freely across this wilderness. If we were to lose the Okavango, we would most likely lose elephants on the continent. Keystone populations of lion, leopard, hyena, rhino, buffalo, cheetah, and wild dog depend on this remote wilderness to persist in this region. That's how important it really is. The greatest loss of our time is going to be the irreversible destruction of our last true wilderness areas within the next decade. A recent study by WWF that looked at 3,500 species around the world demonstrated that we have lost over 50% of all wildlife in the last 40 years. Now that's cataclysmic. That is the sixth extinction happening right now and we are at fault for it. Now what will future generations think of us when we stood by and allowed places and images like this to disappear? Last images of our distant past. We need to inspire millions of people around the world to care enough about these remote wildernesses, places they will never visit, to care enough about them to help us preserve and protect them. Now, we launched the Okavango Wilderness Project this year. This is after five years exploring the Okavango Delta to undertake the most comprehensive biodiversity surveys ever undertaken in this wilderness. We also look at things like water quality, where we are benchmarking the way this wilderness is now so that we can notice any significant changes in the future up in the catchment due to development in Angola. This is to preserve this pristine wilderness where you can drink the water from source to sand. We put together an amazing team of explorers. In the front there is Joe Thorpe. He is a data artist from New York, from the Office of Creative Research, and he's the mastermind of intotheokavango.org. Now, these represent the first live data expeditions ever undertaken in the remote wilderness. Gone are the days when explorers and scientists can disappear into the wilderness for months on end and emerge with data they consider to be theirs, their own. It is now our global responsibility to protect these last landscapes and share that data. And that's what we do. We upload all of our research data, our tracks, our biometrics, our very heartbeats, what we're seeing, what we're hearing, what we're feeling live in real time via satellite to a public API for anyone to use. This is Greg Trainich. He's an explorer and the founder of Adventurers and Scientists for Conservation. He's trying to figure out how to get volunteers safely across this wilderness to help us maintain a network of environmental sensors put together by Shah Selby. He's a cons uh, conservation technologist and rocket scientist, and he's putting together a network of sensors that will allow us literally to measure the heartbeat of this remote wilderness. Just the same as a lot of people are watching their heartbeats during exercise, um, we will be doing that for this remote wilderness to make sure that it remains pristine in the future. Now, this is the launch page for intotheokavango.org. You can go onto your tablets, your phone, your iPhone, your computer to enjoy this. On the 17th of August, this would have been live. Real explorers just about to embark on an expedition into a remote wilderness. Now we're going seven days into the future. This is now the 24th of August. We're just about to depart. We're getting ready in the morning. Uh, by 9 o'clock, we will cast off when the hippos allow us. And what you're going to start seeing is what we, what we are literally seeing live popping up around us. The birds we are seeing, the animals we are putting into our research app. Now, more than that, we'll have, uh, we have an automatic camera system pointing forwards and to the side. This is taking photographs every 100 meters. An audio system that you can listen in to what we're talking about, what we're experiencing. Connecting the world to our experiences in this remote wilderness to inspire change. We also encourage school kids around the world to help us navigate if we seem like we're lost. We can't see the satellite image. They can. At the end of the day, 
in the tweets, we will ask them, please help us find an island we can camp on, directly involving them in exploration of remote wilderness areas. That is our intention, to connect people to the reality of these places. Now we have a data page. This is our live data, it's showing how far we went, where we're going, our heartbeats. This is a representation we have live of heartbeats. Those vertical lines you're seeing are hippos. And you see the, the, the green flashes, so on Joe's especially, that's three hippos attacking him uh, live on that same day. We also do Google Hangouts. This Google Hangout was the most watched live from National Geographic ever. At the end of the Hangout, we had an elephant walk past behind us and we took our computer, put it in front of the elephant for everyone to see live and in real time. We also have a blog to add narrative to this. Now, I'm going to leave you with the famous dictum of Henry David Thoreau. Uh, in wildness is the preservation of humankind. If we were to let these last places, these wonderful images disappear, we would be lost. These are the places where we'll find the secrets we need to persist for another 1,000 years, for another 5,000 years. Everything we do is open source and available to other people. We're going to scale this out to other wildernesses around the world to create a global movement to save these last landscapes. Thank you for your time.